Okay. Well, my roommate Darren had a little, a little bit too much to drink last night, and he requested a greasy hangover breakfast this morning. So that's what I'm making. Um, I had a lot of requests on my show for my roommate Darren to do his own show. People really liked what he had to do on my show. So he did his own cooking show last night, his first one, and I just wanted to give a shout out to him and say I'll put a link on the bottom of my video so that you can go check it out. He made a really, really yummy dish last night, and I just wanted to say check it out. It was really good. So without further ado, we're going to start out today's breakfast making a kind of like a country gravy but Sioux style. And let me tell you, first of all, my hubby would crap his pants if he saw the way that I was doing this. <laughs> so it's a good thing he's not home right now. And my roommate Darren is shooting the video. <laughs> so, okay, this is just my way. This, uh, this pot is very, very hot. And uh, I am melting some butter down. And I just, you know, as I've said before, I don't really measure anything. Just kind of do it. So this pan, like I said, very hot. So what we're going to do to that is we're going to add some all-purpose flour, just enough to make a roux. That should be enough. Looks pretty good. And what you want it to do is you want it to get kind of um, thick. You want it to become kind of almost like a ball. You want to stir it because it looks like it's... Yeah, see, you want these little ball crumbles in there. I know it looks like beat up cookie dough or something, but that's what you want. This is what's going to give your gravy the thickness. And then what you're going to do to that, after you got these nice ball clumps there, is you're going to add a little bit of milk. As much milk as you want, however much gravy you're going to make. And then, this is a little trick. That then you just stir that up like this. You want to get this to a boil to thicken it and to get all those little flour chunks broken up and you don't want lumpy gravy. So what I did last time when I made this gravy, and the husband liked it even though he would not like the method of me making this, um, I added some of this uh, Philadelphia cooking cream, savory lemon and herb. And I added some of that to it and my husband really thought it was good. So I'm going to add some of that for some good taste. And uh, we're going to keep on continuing to stir that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just season it a little bit with some garlic pepper seasoning. And then we're going to cut up our sausage links. That I, they were frozen. I microwaved them a little bit. And just going to cut. It's not all the way cooked through, but it will cook through when it's in the gravy because the gravy is going to be boiling and stuff. So I'm going to cut that up into little bite-sized pieces and throw that in my pan there. And then I'm just going to cook this gravy until it's thick. And then I'm going to take it off the burner and start on the next phase of my breakfast. And if you need to add a little bit more flour, like, you know, if this gets to a rolling boil and it's just really not thick enough. But remember also, though, that once you take it off the burner, it will thicken too. But if you feel like you need a little bit more flour, you can add a little bit more. Just, you know, no science to it. Just do what you need to do with the milk and the flour until you get it to your desired consistency for you and your family. Okay, so I'm just going to get this boiling, get it cooked up and thickened and stuff, and I'll be back in a minute to show you the next phase of my breakfast. Okay, so I've got my gravy done, and it's thick, but it will thicken while it stands there. The sausages are all cooked up, and the gravy's going to thicken, and it smells really good, so I'm just going to set that aside for right now. And I uh, came up with this recipe one day. Just I get my best ideas sometimes in the middle of the night or in the morning. And I was thinking of what I was going to make for breakfast, and I just kind of came up with this recipe because I thought it would be good, and my husband ended up really loving it, and so did my roommate. So, um, what you do is you take some of these biscuits, the whatever brand, don't matter. They're not cooked. You just uh, take your biscuits, and it's a really simple recipe, and it's really good. 
And that's what I like, so that's probably why I came up with this recipe in the first place. Okay, so I have right here some pepper jack cheese cut up. And you just want to put some pep a piece of pepper jack cheese down on your biscuit. And then what you do is you take a little bit of, well, first you find a spoon. I had a spoon. I'll grab a spoon here. Okay, so what you want to do is you just take a little bit of corned beef hash. This is actually roast beef hash. And you just put that down right in the middle there. And then you roll your biscuits up like this. Well, you can roll it any way you want, but I'm just... I've done it different ways before. I've either rolled it and just connected it like this, or you can just roll it. You can do it whatever way you want. Just make sure that everything is kind of sealed up so the filling doesn't fall out. And it's really your choice in cooking. Whatever method works the best for you, go for it. As long as it works. I don't, you know, I'm a big, I'm, I'm a big believer that when you're cooking, it doesn't have to be a certain way. It's whatever works best for you. So, just made a roll. A little, it looks like a little mummy. <laughs> just in time for Halloween. So, I'm just going to make a couple of these rolls up and uh, roll them up just like I showed you with the biscuits, the cheese, and the roast beef hash. And then I'm going to come back when we start frying them. Okay, so we've got these. Uh, I got three of them rolled up and I'm just going to start putting them in the fryer here. Probably have to turn up the heat a little bit. I turned it down because it was too hot and now I have to turn it back up because it's not hot enough. So that's the way it goes. Um, so I'm going to put these babies down, get them to start cooking up, make sure all the seams are put together like this. You know, the last time I made these, they were so good, I didn't get any of them. So <laughs> maybe I'll get a couple this time. Um, yeah. The, I got some of these at the dollar store. They are mushroom bites, kind of like um, mushrooms with cheese. And, you know, there was a greasy breakfast request today, so that's <laughs> I'm going to cook up some of these mushrooms and have some gravy on top of those, too. I figured that would be good. And we just want to get these cooking. And what you want to do is you want to just make sure that these little hash roll-ups are cooked on all sides, and I'll show you how to do that on a, in a minute, depending on how you rolled them up. Um, I don't know the method, what you would call it, how I rolled it up. But um, what you want to do is, if, if, you, if it's like this, and you need to do the sides, you just or the bottoms or whatever, you just hold it up like that for a few minutes, whatever you need to do to get it just browned on all sides. And I don't know why, whenever I cook with this pan, it starts sticking really bad. Even though I have tons of oil in it. Really weird. But anyways, I'm going to just uh, do this off camera, because I don't want to take too much time. So I'm just going to fry up these mushroom bites and fry up these, uh, these little hash roll-ups until they're brown. See, this one's turning brown right now, and it looks really nice. You just want to get it as brown as you want it. Personally, if you want it a little bit darker or a little bit lighter, it's all up to you. And once these are done cooking, you will put them on a plate. And I'm going to put these mushroom bites on a plate, too. And put some of the gravy on top. And then my roommate, Darren, he's going to do a little bit of a taste test for me today. Hubby's gone on a work-related outing. So he's not here right now. So I'm going to have my roommate, Darren, do a taste test when these are all said and done. So, anyways, thank you, and I'll be back. Okay, so there is the finished product, and I'm behind the camera right now filming this, and my roommate Darren is going to take a taste test. These are the hash roll-ups with some gravy on top and some of the mushroom bites with some of my gravy on top. My homemade Susie Country Gravy. So, anyways, Darren's going to do a little taste test now, and we're going to see how he likes it. Boy, this is going to be delicious. Mm. Mm. 
Definitely two thumbs up. Thank you. That's great. Fantastic. Yeah. So when you feel like you want a nice, greasy hangover breakfast, this is the go-to recipe for you. All right. Well, thanks for watching, y'all. And take care. See you next time. Bye-bye. Say bye. See you later. <laughs>